Hey everybody, this is Sandy. Welcome to my channel. And the fit week five of the Build Your Stash collaboration hosted by Mandy's Place. Hi Mandy. I know I'm a little late getting mine out, but I wanted to make sure that I got something out for you ladies. Um, I try to hold to my commitments. I'm just starting a new job, so my hours are kind of crazy, so please forgive me. Um, this week, I'm sure I worked on some paper clips for you guys. Um, I'm working on some TNs, some traveler's notebooks for a craft fair coming up in November, and I wanted to make some paper clips to sell along with the traveler's notebooks. So, um, I have a die that I really, really like. It's this, this die right here. The die is the Cottage Cuts die, and this is it right here. Very cute. I love it. I don't really like the way they made it, because they made it in one piece, so it causes you to have to, like, cut things kind of waste paper so I really don't like it I like my dies to be separated but that's the way they made it it's a cute die anyway and I like it and I've made several of them I cut them all out and I'm just waiting for things to do with them so that's a stash right there but anyway I decided to package them together with a another die this was a AE die a tote, little tote bag and I decided to make paper clips out of both of them and package them together I use the method this method where the paper clip is like kind of hidden and it slides directly onto the paper like this so that's the method I use for all my clips today. Um, some are packed singular. I'm going to show you. These came from Dollar Tree. These are shaker stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, they come six in a pack. Real cute if you can find them. They came out like right when the school stuff was put out. And I just kind of grabbed up the ones I like. They had some that had uh, donuts. One set, and then this set was like a girl boss, and you are strong. I really, I showed them on my um my recent Dollar Tree haul video, so you can check that out if you like. Um, but I saw this on um, Scraptastic's channel, I believe. She turned these into paper clips, so I kind of went along with. I was inspired by her, and I went along with the way she did it. Um, she traced it and cut out her circle, but I just happened to have a one and three quarter inch punch and it fit perfect. So I didn't have to do anything. So basically you're just um, tracing it and cutting out your circles or for these. And then you just use your, you just need to cut a small notch right here. And then your paper clip just goes in like this. You put the shorter side on the inside. It kind of goes in and fits through the notch. And then I just used some, um, covered it with some hot glue. And then I just put more uh, wet glue around the circle. You don't have to do that because it's sticky, but I do it because I don't want it to come apart. So just to reinforce it a little more. So I did a few of them and packaged them up as well. So just wanted to share this with you ladies. I just thought these were so cute. I love the typewriters and the little totes together. So girly. But anyway, and this one I had a double pack of. And this one I put the, um, when I use them, when I made the clip, I used a circle, a small um, one inch circle punch, or it may have been a uh, one and a half inch, but it was a small circle punch on the back, and I put it at the top of the um, paper clip 
like this for those that's why they sit up higher so these when they sit on the page they'll sit up higher and as the other ones they'll sit down a little lower because they actually are more like this okay so that's what i have for you this week i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them below remember to comment like subscribe and tap that bell for more sandy's handiwork blessings bye bye